In this video, we we'll learn about the Tableau Online. That is one more product by Tableau. Now, suppose if you have created different types of reports in your Tableau desktop and you have finalized everything, you want to share your reports or your analysis with different people all across the world. Maybe your colleagues, your manager, your team leader, anybody. So you need a platform. That platform is nothing but Tableau Online. So Tableau Online and Tableau Server are similar interfaces. They work same like that. Now, if you want to publish your data into Tableau Online, there are various steps you can do. But before jumping to publishing the data, we need to understand what is the user interface of Tableau Online and how it works. If you're logging in for the first time on the Tableau Online, how do you do that? So first of all, you can open this browser like this and you can just type as online.tableau.com and press enter. So this is the URL if you're using the online platform by Tableau and then you can enter your email address or you can enter your password. Remember, if you're working in a company, this login credentials would be different based on your company access. It can be your username, it can be your email ID or it can be your just one click button so you can log in this place. Right now, I have a login. So I've entered the username that is the email ID, email ID and password. So once I've entered the email ID and password, I can just click on the sign in. If you're logging in for the first time, you can just use this sign up button. But since I have downloaded the Tableau desktop in the very first video, I don't have to sign up again. I can just directly sign in. So click on this sign in button. So once you click on this sign in button, you'll get this welcome screen where it says, do you want to have some knowledge about the Tableau online? So you can watch this video, watch a getting started video. Second thing it says, do you want to add some users to your Tableau project? Or the third thing it says, connect to your data in the Tableau desktop. So if you see, that's a Tableau desktop. So this one will allow you to see the videos, add users, and it will help you to download the Tableau desktop. So you can create some reports and publish on Tableau online. So right now I don't want to see this window. So I'll just, right now I'll just click on never, click on this close button here. This is the Tableau online interface. There are different terms you should understand in this. What are different terms which are given here? One is the project, workbooks, views, and the data sources. These are very much similar to R itself, our Tableau desktop. The very first one, which is nothing but the projects is nothing but a folder. Inside one folder, you might have different workbooks. So if you see, that's a default folder which I've got and it is named as the project. So right now, if you see, that's a default project and I have how many workbooks? There are 13 work, uh, three workbooks, 16 views and one data source. So one data source is given inside that, that's some Excel file or some database. Second, if you see there are three workbooks, what are the three workbooks? You can see it one by one. If you see Google Analytics, Analyze Superstore, Executive Sales. So these are three different workbooks. Every workbook will have different worksheets. Here worksheets or the sheets are known as views. So if you click on this views, you'll be getting 16 different worksheets. That is the views which are given here. So if you click on any one of them and if you observe what happens, this worksheet or the views will be visible here and you can see it. You can analyze the same way what you analyze in the Tableau desktop. You see this one. So same way what you can analyze there, you can select or if it is interactive, you can select from the right hand side or you can select this any point at this place like this and it will be interactive same way, right? So this is nothing but a view at this place. So there are similar views which are available here. So I'll just click on this back button here. After this views, I have something named as data sources in this place. So whatever data sources you have published to your Tableau online will be visible here, all the entire list. But right now here I have only one data source which is given here. So let's see what is projects in this place. So right now there's a project which is default. If you want, you can create a new project. So I'll just click on this create new and I'll type here as tutorials point. tutorials point and if you want to add some description you can still add here let's say this is a demo demo project and you can just click on this create button here so now a demo project will be created what you can do is you can add workbooks you can add different views you can add data sources anything in that so right now it has zero workbooks zero views and zero data sources so there's nothing totally empty here suppose if you want to search different projects you can just type here and you can search if i want to search for some project let's say if i want you can just type here as tutorials enter and if you see that's a tutorials point one project which i have or else if you want to search if you want to filter based on different owners created on particular date or if you want to see that created on or before so these are nothing but filters which you want to search it same way let's see the different things i have the second option given as users uh, very few people will be getting it only people who have the administrative privileges only those people will be getting this area itself rest all if you are just a viewer or a publisher you'll be getting this as contained part itself 
Now let's see the users. You can add different users, whatever you want. Right now, I'm the only one user which is added at this place. You can just click on this add button. You can add a user by two methods. One is by entering an email ID and second is by importing a CSV file which has different types of email IDs. Right now, I'll just click on this enter email ID. I'll type some email ID here. After entering the email ID, if you see there's a drop down in this place, it says what is the different site role do you want? Site administrator, publisher, interactor, viewer and different things. So right now I'll say yes, I want as viewer itself and I can just click on this add users. So if you observe here, a user will be added at this place and it will be displayed. The details will also be given at this place. If you see there's training.tutorials point and the name viewer and tableau. So everything details will be given about this user part itself. Now same way, if you want to find out the users based on this different site roles, if you see there's a site role, you can select from here. So if I select a site administrator, I have zero, site administrator one. And if you see there's a viewer, I have only one person which is given here. Same way, if you want to create groups of different users, you can still create it. By default, you'll be getting a group named as all users where every user will be added there. Same way, if you want to click a new group, you can just enter the name of the group and you can add some users at this place. So I'll just click on this cancel. Schedules are a part if you want to refresh your reports whichever you are published you can schedule some runs and you can keep on refreshing at particular given date and time itself. So these are the different reports which have been published here I mean the refresh uh, you know events have been uh, given here so refresh daily from this time to this time at this 5.30 am right. Same way I have some tasks whatever tasks have been executed those will be displayed at this place so right now there are no uh, exact refreshes which are given. And the next thing is very important if you're an administrator you have to understand who is accessing your site what all users are doing at your place which workbook is used maximum which view is been used maximum how much space is occupied by which person so all the details can be used by this status part itself let us see if i want to see these are the options analysis dashboards that monitors site activity so these are the dashboards and the analysis will be given so there are different options. Let's see if I want to find out actions by recent users. So if I click on this place, I'll be getting a different types of analysis part and you can see who is doing what and how much space is occupied, different things. So right now it says the actions by the recent users. And if you see here, uh, what actions have user taken on this site recently? Who was the most recently active? So this is my email ID. So what I've done is I've done some few activities on this place and these are given here. And what are the activities I've done here? What actions were recently performed? If you see this, login, logout, access view, create site user, these are the different actions which are performed. So as an administrator, you can keep a track of everything what is happening on your website. These are the different options which are available, traffic to views, traffic to data source, actions by users, everything you can keep a track on using this options as status. The last one in this place, you have this settings part. In the settings part, you can add a logo to your uh, Tableau online website. And also if you see there's an email notification, you can some modify some email notification at this place. Also, if you want, you can work on the authentication part. Suppose when you log into your email ID, when you are log 